Um, well, thank you, Trevor. Um, we have two keynote speakers for today's event, the uh, first of whom is His Excellency, Engineer Ahmed Mohammed Sharif al Khuri, Director General of the Federal Transport Authority Land and Maritime. So I welcome His Excellency to the stage. Good morning. Your Excellencies, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to say a few words of welcome to you all on the occasion of 2019 Maritime Ship Finance and Trade Conference. Our priority at the FTA Land Maritime is to support the local maritime sector in line with overall policy of the country leadership, which is to build a diverse and successful economy that will be sustainable for many years to come. The expansion of shipping and port-related activities is particularly vital in the context, not just for the economic activity they generate, but for their importance in stimulating and supporting trade with global markets. Financial institutions have a key role to play in helping to unlock the barriers that can exist to the development of maritime businesses. And it is important that good lines of communication between the financial and the maritime sector are cultivated to allow both to take full advantages of the growth opportunities that exist. This conference has an important role to play, has the important role to play in bringing all the various elements of the two sectors together to provide the basis for mutually beneficial cooperation. And that is the reason we are happy to give this event our full support in FTA. The UAE, since becoming a member of the IMO Council, has played an important role in bringing forward and supporting initiatives that will be of benefit to all ship owners and operators. And I am pleased to tell you that UAE is all set to be candidate for the second term at the IMO Council Category B membership, for which elections are due to take place on November 29th in London. And as you know, the UAE was the first Arab nation to win Category B membership of, in the Council 2017. And this achievement reflects our commitment to the core principles of security and safety in the maritime sector. We will continue to energetically support those values should we be fortunate to secure a second term. Our success at the IMO also reflects the significant investment in maritime infrastructure and services that have taken place within the UAE in recent years. Nowhere, uh, nowhere is that more evident than here in Abu Dhabi, where a strong maritime cluster is taking root, underpinned by the fastest growing container port in the world at Khalifa port and the rapidly expanding Kiza trade zone. Thanks to the strategies that our wise leadership has followed and the UAE has emerged as a shipping capital for the whole region and other infrastructures, developments underway and planned will further boost the country's maritime sector, which already accounts for around 30 to 35 percent of the total regional maritime sector investment. The UAE has been successful in establishing itself as an innovative maritime hub, but we are not complacement and we aim to build further on what we have achieved over the next few years. 
and that will require the full support of not just shipping ports and related sectors, but also the financial institutions. So I am pleased to see representatives from the world of finance here today with us, and we can assure you that FTA Land Maritime is committed to forging close ties with stakeholders across the maritime and financial sectors to mutual benefit and we look forward to dialogue with all parties over the year to come. Our door is always open and we hope you enjoy this conference and the good best out of it and every success to you all. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, and I'm sure we all wish uh, uh, the UAE the best of luck in, in those uh, elections, and uh, I think the country's made a big contribution over the last few years in, in its role, and, and, and I think it will be very beneficial to the whole region if, if, that, if that continues. <laughs>